Hi, it's Nancy Horn, the Mama Maven, and I'm so excited to partner up with Green Chef for the first USDA approved organic meal kit and to show you what I can cook up. So let's see what's in here, okay? So we have recipe cards. This is roasted chicken thighs with a creamy tomato pan sauce, roasted broccoli and potatoes. That sounds really good. Then we have cauliflower sloppy joes with fingerling potatoes with basil, aioli, and pickled cabbage. That sounds really good. And so I like that there is an insert to tell you about all the organic ingredients. But now, this is what you really want to see. The food. Ooh, okay. So, in here is everything I need for cauliflower sloppy joes. This bag is greener than a salad bar. That's funny. Now the good thing is, this stuff arrived cold to me. And it's all together and organized. So I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to come back to that. And we have organic whole wheat hamburger buns. Now, I normally buy whole wheat hamburger buns anyway, but it's nice to have the organic ones. Here are the roasted chicken thighs. Put that right here. And they're telling me not to forget ingredients that are under the ice. This comes with an ice pack, and the good thing is it looks like I can just kind of let this thaw, or I can keep it because we do use a lot of ice packs. Put this in the sink. Wow. Oh, cool, we got a sample from Bobo's. Oat Bites chocolate chip. <coughs> that looks really cool. Oh, and then a coupon for Bobo's, 30% off online at eatbobos.com using code GREENCHEF18. I like that. Up. Oh. Here are actually the boneless chicken thighs. The meat is cold. This is safe for me to cook. Is that it? I think that's everything. And the good thing is this packaging can be recycled really easily. Good job, Green Chef. Let's see what's in the bags. This is organized and neatly labeled, which makes my little type A heart totally happy. So here I have the boneless chicken thighs. And then I have the buns, which is going to be for the cauliflower sloppy joes. Let's see what's in the cauliflower sloppy joes bag. We have organic walnuts. Now, if you're allergic, leave this out, obviously. Ah, organic green bell pepper, half of one. I like this because if the recipe doesn't call for a whole green pepper, then I've got half a green pepper in my fridge. This calls for half a green pepper, and it's right here. It arrived perfectly. Organic scallions. I always mean to buy organic scallions, and I never have them last. So this is good that it's two of them, right? Organic apple cider vinegar. This is great because this is only what I need. Organic red cabbage. I love red cabbage. But again, I usually have it in my fridge for like two months. So this is exactly what I need. Good job. And all this packaging is recyclable. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Ooh, basil aioli. I wouldn't make something like this, so it's kind of nice I don't have to. Organic red onions cut up. I love this. Um, as you can see from over there, maybe I won't show you. I have some onions that have been there for quite a while. Organic sloppy joe sauce. Now, who loves sloppy joes when you were at school? I love them. More organic sloppy joe sauce. This smells really good. Everything's numbered. Oh. Organic fingerling potatoes. Now this is the organic cauliflower rice. I'm a little surprised that it's riced up for this, but this will be probably really friendly for the kids because if they saw chunks of cauliflower in their sloppy joe tacos, they might not eat this. They might think this actually is meat or chicken and eat it. But the good thing is 
My daughter is only eating fish and vegetarian options, so this is vegetarian. She's going to be thrilled. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, organic broccoli. Awesome. Organic red onions. And I don't have to chop them. Now I have organic fingerling potatoes. Now note to self, be careful when picking this up because I already got a hole in the, in the bag from sticking my finger in it. Cream cheese spread. Ooh, I want to know more. And then I've got an organic tomato mushroom broth with balsamic. Doesn't that sound really good? I bet that's for sauteing the chicken thighs. And then some organic valley butter and more cream cheese spread. So if you are vegetarian, this isn't the meal for you. If you're lactose intolerant, this might not be the meal for you either. However, I am lactose sensitive, but this doesn't look like it's a big amount, so I should be fine with it. And that sounds really good. So I wonder if you wonder what I'm going to make. Hmm, I'm not sure. But uh, thank you for watching my unboxing, and you'll just have to stay tuned to see what I actually made.